Hey, Austin, what are we going to draw today? Bunny. We're going to draw the bunny from Sherlock Gnomes. Well, there's a lot of bunnies, but we're just going to draw one. You got your marker? Yeah. You ready to draw? Mm -hmm. We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You got a marker or something to draw with and some paper and something to color with. Yes. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to first draw our bunny's head right in the middle of our paper towards the top. And watch this. We're going to draw a big upside down U. Is that cool? Yeah. So we're gonna start right here, and then we're gonna draw that upside down U. But on the on the left side, we wanna draw it sticking out. See how it's sticking out a little bit? So we're gonna stick out for the nose and then come back around to the other side. Yeah. Wow. That is a good huge. bunny head. It's a huge bunny head. I like it. Okay, now we can draw his eye. We're gonna draw his eye right here. We're gonna draw an oval shape on the right side. Yeah. Okay, now, on the top of this, we're gonna draw another oval inside that's smaller, and then color in the big, the big oval, but leave the little one white. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his ears. Let's draw the first ear. We're gonna draw a big, a big upside down U, it goes up and then back down. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, now inside, let's draw another one. It's an upside down raindrop. Look at this. It looks like it's going up, the raindrop. Is that cool? Yeah. We start right there, draw it going up and then back down. Perfect. Now we're gonna draw his other ear, but it's bent. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw bending forward and then coming back around and then connecting back into his ear. How old are you? Six. Six. You're doing a great job, man. I love drawing with you. Okay, now we got to draw the inside of this one too, right? Yeah. So we could draw another upside down raindrop. Now it looks like it's going that way. Yeah, it looks like it's shooting off to the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to start right there. <laughs> now, let's draw our bunny's body. Okay? Yeah. We're going to draw a curve for his belly first. We're going to draw belly like this so we're gonna start right here boop and then we're gonna come down to there then we're gonna draw the back and we're gonna draw it shorter so it's gonna it's gonna come back like this but shorter and yours is already yeah there you go you did it okay now let's draw another bump right here this is for his foot and see look at this both lines on this side the short one and also on the big side the belly and in the same spot down here at the bottom now let's draw his foot we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then back in that's for his little foot <laughs> then let's finish the bottom of his belly we're gonna curve it into his into his leg <laughs> there we go all right now let's draw his arms let's draw the first one sticking out in front of his belly Yeah, and then we're going to draw another one over here. And it looks like a sideways U. Okay. Oh, you did it. Okay, what's our bunny missing right about here? His whiskers, his mouth. And his mouth, his nose. Let's yeah. draw the letter Y for his nose and his mouth. We're first going to draw a V, and then we're going to add a line underneath for his mouth. There you go, the letter Y. Now let's draw his whiskers. We're going to draw two lines on his cheek. We did it, Austin, and you did a great job on drawing your little bunny from Sherlock Gnomes. Now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, he's going to look so much better once we color him. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Austin, good job on drawing your little bunny from Sherlock Gnomes. Did you have fun? Yeah. You did a great job, and it's okay that they look different, right? 
Because the, the most important thing is? To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to practice. Practice. Yeah, and how old again are you? Six. Six. You can be super proud of your drawing. It looks awesome. Now, we're not completely finished with our drawings, right? Yeah. What time is it? Challenge time. Challenge time. We want to challenge you guys to finish your drawing by adding a background. What could they draw in the background? Grass. Yeah, you could draw grass. You could draw it outside. <laughs> You could also add a lot more bunnies in the background because there are a lot more in Sherlock Gnomes, the movie. Yeah. We just drew one. <laughs> and then parents, when your child is finished with their artwork, be sure to take a photo and post it to Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Twitter, And then use two tags, at Art for Kids Hub. That'll notify us that you've posted something. And then also the hashtag Sherlock, Sherlock Gnomes Art. Sherlock Gnomes Art. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.